A tank is fitted with a pipe A, which can pump 4 liters of water per minute. There is also a leak in the tank, which can empty a fully filled tank in 6 hours. If a half filled tank is connected with pipe A, then the leak in the bottom of the tank can empty the tank in 5 hours. What is the capacity of the tank? Now let me tell you, this question can actually be solved without putting pen on paper. Try to understand, a tank is fitted with pipe A, which can pump 4 liters of water per minute. Right? So what is the capacity of pipe A? 4 liters per minute, which is nothing but 240 liters per hour. 4 liters per minute. So in 60 minutes, 4 into 60, 240 liters. So it can fill 240 liters per hour. Right? Remember, pipe A can fill 240 liters per hour every hour. Now there is a leak in the tank, which can empty a fully filled tank in 6 hours. This leak, leak takes 6 hours to empty the fully filled tank. Now if a half filled tank is connected with pipe A, then the leak in the bottom of the tank can empty the tank in 5 hours. Now try to understand, this tank is half filled. There is a tank which is half filled. There is a leakage. Right? This leakage took 5 hours. This tank was already half filled. Right, it was half filled. Don't do all this drama in the exam. You won't get extra marks for this. Just trying to create a nice visual for all of you. Right, half filled. It's already half filled. Right, half was filled, half was empty, and it had a pipe A, inlet pipe A. Right, it had an inlet pipe A, and the leakage. Leakage took how many hours? Five hours. Five hours to empty the half filled tank. Okay. What is the capacity of pipe A? Remember, 240 liters per hour. 240 liters per hour. Now, very simple observation. If this leak takes 6 hours to empty the full tank, it will take 3 hours to empty the half tank. Yes or no? Leakage take 6 hours for full tank implies it would take 3 hours for half tank. Yes or no? Now it means out of this 5 hours that the leakage has spent, 3 hours went in what? 3 hours went in emptying this half tank. Already filled half tank. It will not have, it will not happen in a way that first half tank will be emptied, then only pipe is water will be emptied. It doesn't happen that way, but we can break it. We can say out of 5 hours, the leakage has spent 3 hours in only emptying the half tank. 3 hours in emptying half tank. What did it do in the remaining 2 hours? Tell me. Out of 5 hours, 3 hours shallow. It has spent in emptying half of the tank. How do I know it took 3 hours? Because the question says it takes 6 hours for full tank. So in the remaining 3 hours, it will take... It, for half of the tank, it will take 3 hours. So that part is done. What was this leakage doing for the other 2 hours? In the other 2 hours, in the other two hours, this leakage was emptying the water which was filled by pipe A. The water which was filled by pipe A. Now can somebody tell me how much water this pipe A fill here? It filled 240 liters per hour. For how many hours? For 5 hours. Remember, the tank is fitted or connected with pipe A. Then the leak of the bottom can empty it in 5 hours. Meaning this pipe A was working continuously for 5 hours. In this 5 hours, it was filling water and in this 5 hours, this was emptying water. So after 5 hours, the tank got emptied fully. Right? So in 2 hours, how much water was so emptying half of the tank and this 2 hours was spent in emptying, emptying water filled by A in 5 hours. The most common mistake that people may commit here is they may consider only 2 hours of pipe A because it is 2 hours. No, remember, pipe A was working for 5 hours. How much it filled in 5 hours? That's a different story. It was working for 5 hours. Out of this 5 hours that leakage worked, 3 hours were gone in only this half of the tank. The remaining 2 hours were spent in emptying the water filled by pipe A in 5 hours. So if it fills 240 liters in 1 hour, how much will it fill in 5 hours? 1200 liters. So what I got to know out of this is this leakage works at what rate? 1200 liters for 2 hours. 
from all this analysis the conclusion is the leakage takes 2 hours for 1200 liters now what does it mean we know that the leakage takes 6 hours to empty a fully filled tank if the tank is completely full for a, emptying a fully filled tank it takes 6 hours so how much of water will it remove in 6 hours i know that the leakage is removing 1200 liters for 2 hours so in 6 hours how much will it remove 1200 into, 1200 into 3 2 hours may it remove 1200 liters so how much will it remove in 6 hours it will remove 1200 into 3 into 6 by 2 basically this is equal to 3600 so i can say the capacity of the tank is 3600 liters which is option 1 remember it may sound a little confusing appear to be a little confusing but actually it's a very simple solution don't misunderstand that the leakage will actually first empty only half of the tank in three hours then in the remaining two hours it is working no the process is continuous as the water is being filled by pipe a it is being emptied by leakage but i am breaking leakages work into two parts that five hour work has been split into two parts out of five hours three hours it will spend only in emptying half of the tank according to the point given here it takes six hours for emptying full tank so it will take three hours for emptying half tank in this three hours it cannot fill any it, it cannot empty anything which was filled by pipe a Anything that was filled by pipe A or everything that was filled by pipe A was emptied only in these two hours. And I know that pipe A can fill 1200 liters in five hours, which means the leakage in two hours, it removed 1200 liters of water. So if it removed 1200 liters in two hours, in six hours, it will remove 3600 liters. And that has to be the capacity of the tank because in six hours, the leakage empties a full tank. So option one, 3600 is the answer.